they were in the process uh, of recruiting students for an athletic training program. And so with my love for sports and combining that with medicine, it seemed like a fit. He's one of those people I don't think you have to meet and spend time with for more than a few minutes and know that he's very special. He's been involved in every aspect of athletic training uh, clinically. He's, he's been a wonderful teacher. He's done great things research-wise, and he's uh, stepped up in many leadership roles over the years. Could you pick a better person to do what he did here at the University of Georgia? I, I don't know that you could have. I don't know that there would have been a better person out there. There are certainly qualified individuals, but I think the fit, his demeanor, was perfect for the institution. As I progressed through my career from uh, Michigan State to Northwestern to Ball State to now Georgia, for me each and every day is a new challenge and it's a new joy and it's a new opportunity. I just think there's very few athlete trainers uh, with the, uh, the, the talents that Mike has and with the ambition to, uh, to develop a good program, to be a strong researcher, and to uh, serve the athletic training community the way, the way Mike has. Mike does get it. Mike understands it. Mike does. Mike knows how to uh, get out of that office over there, get out of that education side, and get over here to see what we are doing hands-on. Uh, and he can take both sides, put them together, uh, and make things run smoothly. It's not just me. I think it's our entire staff. Uh, we, I believe in a team approach and of all of us work together for the betterment of our athletic training students. And through that mentoring that we provide, it may be me, it may be another instructor, it may be our clinical staff, together we help that light bulb go on. Mike treats each of our students as a person, a unique individual. So he knows almost everything about them, he chats with them on a daily basis, and he treats them with respect. And in return, they really see him as a mentor and somebody that they can talk to and go to while they're at UGA and then after in their career. Our friend Ron Davis actually calls him the Teflon man, and basically nothing sticks to him. And so if something doesn't work out, he's very good at just letting it kind of slide off his shoulders, letting it roll, and, and coming up with another solution. I think globalization is important because I, I see the athletic trainers as an essential healthcare provider of the medical team. He makes friends easily and he's a very easygoing person and with his knowledge and his global view and understanding of other part of the culture of the world, I think he's the right person to spread the world on the professional. Mike obviously has a great career but he's also a, a family man He's a good friend, he's a man of faith. He has a, a lot of interest outside of his work and, and I think he's a great example of life balancing. Here's a person that shows up at their office or goes into a classroom or goes on a business trip and they absolutely love what they do. Uh, from what I noticed, he, he's just really happy doing what he's doing all the time. I do him because I love doing it and everything that I've done in the profession of athletic training has been a love, it's been a passion for me. Um, and so I just continue going forward.